We warned of the potential for a massive reversal in a wildly extended U.S. dollar, and into Friday we're seeing this play out. The U.S. dollar has been on fire on account of a funding squeeze in response to fear associated with coronavirus fallout. The panic associated with the flight to safety to dollars has triggered a coordinated response in an effort to alleviate the strain. The Fed has been active setting up dollar swap lines with all of the major central banks, and this has now extended beyond the ECB, BOE, SNB, BOJ, and Bank of Canada to the RBA, RBNZ, and Scandi central banks. There has also been reported dollar selling on the news of the statewide stay-in-home order out of California, which has given many an added excuse to book profit on extended U.S. dollar longs. Broadly speaking, the Fed's efforts, along with all of the global stimulus and aggressive measures to contain the coronavirus, seem to be helping to support stocks off the lows, at least for now. It certainly has been a positive sign to see China's reported cases going down and the PBOC holding off on additional stimulus measures. We believe there is still a tough road ahead for markets, but it's definitely good to see some upbeat news at a time where things have been looking rather bleak. The risk associated with central bank and government response to future negative shocks to the global economy is a big one now that efforts have been maxed out, but for now, the market is trying to find the good news where it can get it. Friday's calendar features German producer prices, the Eurozone current account, UK public finances, Canada retail sales, and US existing home sales. That's all for now.